Fiona continues to batter the Caribbean, still a major Category 3 hurricane at this hour with the eye 40 miles north northwest of Grand Turk Island. So battering the Turks and Caicos currently and then going to start to move back over the warm ocean waters of the Atlantic and expected to strengthen even more so. The wind currently sustained at 115 miles per hour. Watch what happens over the next couple of days. Still a Category 3 turning to a Category 4 hurricane as we head through Thursday, and that's when the sights are set on Bermuda. So if you have any friends or family in Bermuda, you definitely want to keep them ahead of this major storm and uh, it's something we're going to be watching extremely close here in the Weather Center as well before Fiona starts to make uh, its way up toward easternmost Canada. Super Doppler 8 closer to home still showing some sprinkles out across uh, New York, but here throughout most of the Commonwealth and the Valley, things are looking pretty good behind that cold front drier air. Still some fair weather cumulus clouds out there in the capital city, but another good glimpse nonetheless as we we look out toward downtown and some of the Susquehanna. Going to be a great day to be outdoors. We have 75 in Sealands Grove, 76 in Harrisburg, now into the upper 70s from the Red Rose City westbound toward York. You're at 77 degrees. As we head through the remainder of our day, temperatures are going to top out right around 82, I'm thinking here, but a good bet 80 to 84. More comfortable than yesterday, but still warm for this time of the year. Then overnight, we're looking at a starry sky and a mild feel with temperatures in the 50s and the 60s. Now, as we head through the day, if you're an allergy sufferer, anything from ragweed to grasses could be allowing those to act up just a bit, but at least the air quality is good. Still may want to have the shades out there and the ball cap with the burn time of 35 minutes with that UV index. As we head through the remainder of our uh, week toward Wednesday, we start to track our next storm system. And by late Wednesday into Thursday, Brichter is showing some hit or miss showers and some rumbles. Thursday itself a lot cooler as that, that cold front continues to move on through the area. Uh, but ahead of it, tomorrow we have a little bit of instability trying to build, and we could see a rogue stronger storm or two in some of our northwestern neighborhoods. You see that slight risk out to our uh, north and west, something we'll be watching closely throughout the next uh, 24 hours. A hail and gusty wind would be the primary concern if any of those storms do turn to the severe side tomorrow. So make sure you stay weather aware. Our News 8 Storm Team 10-day forecast shows those showers and a cool down lingering for our Thursday. Temperatures fall back into the 70s, but look at Friday with that trough on top of us. We're expecting temperatures back into the 60s, lows in the 40s, so a fall-like feel for the second day of autumn and then we're starting to turn back into the 70s more seasonable for this time of the year with another chance of rain on Monday of the following week there, Susan.